Yeah, I've been picking this berry patch here and it's been so abundant that I've actually haven't gone any farther than this right here. I picked uh, probably half a deep freeze full right in this little area right here over four or five days. And now I'm just kind of going back in to see things are still going good here and they are. Like there's still lots of tons and tons of berries, clusters of them. I just stopped up the road a little bit and and uh, picked for a few and there was tons. Game changer now is it's hunting season so don't know what that equates to and I'm on a some type of bear trail here. See footprints here. See kind of footprints maybe not bear. No that's a big deer. Nice. Heading that way. Yeah, I haven't been here for a couple weeks now and it's really cool to see. I know in this spot here where I've been picking, I picked uh, seven or eight different kinds of berries just in one little tiny area. I like to get down on my knees and start picking. And uh, yeah, look at that. Just tons and tons of berries still. So we've had frost a couple times, so that's what I was curious about coming out here. But uh, at least now I know what I'm doing tomorrow. I'm trying to see if I can find any little magic spots where there's just tons and tons and pretty much everywhere I walk. There's other kinds of berries too. There's the blueberries and there's the uh, black huckleberries are here too. Right there. Black huckleberries, bellberries. That's another one of those dual named ones. They're out and about, and they're ripe. Right here. They're so ripe, you can barely touch them on the branch. They're falling off. They're called bilberries, black huckleberries. And they are ripe to perfection. Mother Nature's doctor right here. A wild raspberry bush, but there's no raspberries on there. Or no, that's not a wild raspberry bush. It's another type of berry, but I don't see none on there. Way nicer with me not babbling. Here's, uh, these are currants right here. These ones are really delicious. I thought they were Oregon grapes for a while there, but they're actually currants. I'm gonna have a, these ones look awesome on a close up picture.
There's so much stuff with them. Got hair. So, get some of those. A couple of these blueberries. Hard not to get the leaves. pouring rain out lately so everything's all nice and wet get a couple of those and then we got the currants and the blueberries and I'm really happy I walked down this far because I'm looking here I'm gonna be coming back here tomorrow like this bush right here it's probably like a half ice cream bucket full of berries in it right here Tons and tons. But I need some bilberry black huckleberries and see if there's any gooseberries kicking around here. Yep, I knew this was going to be a interesting little walk. There we go. Let's see if there's any gooseberries left. This is the gooseberry bush. I don't see any on there. They've probably fallen, but where there's one, there's probably two. There's another one, but I'm not seeing. Yeah, they they've bit it. I see the gooseberries here. They're overripe. No, nope, that one's good. So cool. We'll get a couple of those into the mix. There we got some gooseberries, blueberries, and currants. And all we're missing right now some bilberry black huckleberry and what do we got there that's a nice ripe one these ones are actually bilberries I don't think these are the huckleberries and some red ones oh, and there's a black one one black one another red one there we go so we got oh, need a couple more black ones there we go okay. it's pretty awesome lucky place I live in Really happy I went for this little walk here though because tomorrow's gonna be a good day berry picking. A really good day because I'm gonna go out and give it a few hours. I've been only picking for like an hour at a time when I've been going out. Tomorrow I plan on picking for a few hours. But anyways, just wanted to show you this magical place. Stay awesome.